What's up, y'all? Smarty here. Um, <clears throat> I just want to do a quick video on um, Google's HDR Plus camera on the LG G7 and the um, Samsung Galaxy Note 8. Now, due to my, uh, like, in my recent video, when I um, did the, not my recent video, but my, <laughs> my video on the, uh, the camera comparison between the LG V30 and the set, the LG G7, um, someone recommended to me to go to the, to try the Google HDR Plus camera out on, on particularly the V30, but since for some reason it's not letting me install it on the V30, I just went and installed it on the G7. I don't know, drive keeps force stopping or something. I really don't know what's going on with that, but they work just, it, they installed and work just fine on these two. But there is a caveat to that, and I will get to that in a second. Um, so, what what is it that this camera really does? Basically, with the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, they're lauded as the best cameras on the smartphone. I guess. So, what a lot of, like, diehard Android people tend to do is that they tend to take a lot of good stuff off of, like, say, the Pixel or the Nexus or whatever, Google's phones, typically, and port them, and port them to other Android devices so that they work on other Android devices. And that's basically what this app is. So, it's not called HDR plus camera on when you download it. It's just called camera. But basically what you can do is you can press and hold it on here. It'll ask you if you want to take a video. Oh, give me one minute. It'll ask you if you want to take a video or take a selfie. You can either do one of either on both of these phones. I believe... Yep, and of course I got to freaking do that. You press and hold the icon on either, and it'll ask you if you want to do that. It also asks you if you want to go to the um about the app and stuff like that. If you want to uninstall it, or if it's fucking up and you want to force close it and stuff like that, it'll do that. But what I really want to what I really want to do here is I want to test them out on both here. Now, I haven't really done this because I installed them last night while at work. But the one thing I do say is that they don't work with either the secondary lenses, from what I can tell anyway. Um, like, specifically on the G7 slash V30, since they essentially have the same, they have the same camera setup. Maybe it does work on the, it's hard to tell. No, it definitely doesn't. <laughs> but, it basically has every single feature that it has on the Google camera on the Pixel 2 phones, and you could do lens blur, Photosphere, Fanorama, Slow-Mo. I think Slow-Mo doesn't work because every time I... It won't work on either phone because every time I try to do it, it says camera keeps stopping. So let me try that on here and see if it does the same thing. <laughs> so it tried to work, but it didn't work. Which is totally fine. You could just use your regular camera apps on any of these phones for that. So it doesn't necessarily matter. But I'm going to do a quick comparison between the two. I'm going to take a few shots here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I took my typical shots <laughs> when it comes to, um, since I'm at home, I just took the typical shots of my Harley Quinn piggy bank here. So I just want to make a quick estimation as to what these pictures look like. So I'm going to just do a quick comparison. This is from the regular camera apps of the phone. This, let me actually go to the portrait shot on both. Oh, great. 
So, I don't know what's going on. Ever since I, like, downloaded a shit ton of high-quality wallpapers on my G7, the, um, <laughs> the gallery closes. It doesn't do it a lot, but it does it, it does indeed do it quite, it does do it enough to note it, but since that's just a very rare situation, I'm not going to chalk that up to the phone itself being whack or anything like that, but I'm going to talk about this here real quick. Okay, so as I've mentioned before, when it comes to the portrait mode between the G7 and the V, the G7 and the Note 8, the Note 8 has better background blur, it has a creamier background blur, but the G7 is more consistent when it comes to having a image that isn't messed up on like edges of a subject. So that's something that does still hold true. The issues that I do indeed have with these portrait modes is you have to be super far away from your subject and able to take it, but you know, it's whatever. <laughs> that's not the case when it comes to the selfie camera on the um, V, Christ, G7, but I just wanted to let you guys know that. So let me go back into the camera app of the, um, the Google camera app here and show you guys the same photos that I've taken. So, okay. So, where's the damn portrait shot? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. So, it's kind of hard for me to know. Oh, it literally tells you right there. So, the one thing I do like Google's about Google's um, portrait mode is that you can be closer to the subject. But I think the main problem that I have with it is that lens blur, say when you go into this feature here, and it did initially force close on me on both phones when I did it, so I just want to let you guys know that right now. Um, so basically what happens is you do this, you pick where you want it to be, and I guess since I didn't pick it initially, you pick where you want it to be, you widen it, and it'll widen it, and just make the background a bit blurrier. I don't know if it saves a separate photo or what, but I don't really, I don't necessarily like it because, oh, it doesn't. It just, it just makes it so it only does it on that specific, it only keeps that specific image and you could edit it to your heart's content. And it does it on both. I will say the um, saturation is still pretty much how it is on the base note, the base camera app on the Note 8. the The wall does seem to be a bit more cream-ish, and natural colors are still a thing on the G7's camera. As you guys can see, the whites are more white on the G7. If, let me turn this down here. The whites are more white on the G7's display. And that also can be chalked up to it just being the display. But, you know, th that's neither here nor there. Both images look very nice. I will say that. But I will talk about just how a, just how a base, um, image looks on both of these phones and that's literally the one I took this is literally the same shot so if I want to pixel peep as you guys may know the 12 megapixel camera dual 12 megapixel cameras on the um note 8 dual 16 dual 60 megapixel cameras on the g7 the g7 also obviously have more detail because it has a higher megapixel count but the the Note 8 has bigger pixels, so that's what allows it to focus faster. It doesn't necessarily focus fast in my tests or anything like that, but I want to focus on this puff ball here. As you guys can see, there's a very good amount of detail on this puff ball here on the G7 with the G7's camera, and on the Note 8, there is there is a good amount of detail. And sorry for that refresh thing, but it's 
not as detailed, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but if you like a lot of detail in your photos, the G7 will still be great when it comes to that with this camera app. What I've noticed with a lot of camera apps is that when you do download a different one, it does tend to mess with the image a little bit, but for some reason, it doesn't do that on any of these phones, and that's very nice. As I said, you can't use any of these secondary lenses. I did try to download the wide-angle port for the G7, but for some reason, it just closed, so, <laughs> and it wasn't working, so I'll try to figure that out and make a follow-up video on that. If I don't end up finding that, I will post a comment and pin it to let you guys know what indeed happened with that, but I will indeed wait to see what happens, and if it does end up working, I will make a follow-up video, as I said. But yeah, people saying that this camera app is leaps and bounds better than the base camera apps on these phones. I don't necessarily think that's true. One, because you can't necessarily use both cameras. <laughs> and that's my main issue with it. Then it doesn't add that much more detail. It doesn't look that much better. Granted, I'm not taking a sunset or sunrise shot, so that probably is why. HDR tends to work the best when it comes to that, so I may do that too, just to show you guys, I guess, but we'll see when it when that becomes a thing. Um, the most I notice is that the wall does indeed look more like it does in real life, but that's honestly something that isn't necessarily a big deal to me. And even then, the wall doesn't look that terrible. When it comes to um, looking at both of these, but, you know, it's whatever. Um, what else? The, and another thing that's a bit, that's an issue for me personally, is that when you go into settings on both of these phones, you don't get to, you don't get to use 1440p or 4K video on the rear camera on either of them and that's just something that is some like if you want to use this camera you can't necessarily use it to its full capabilities and the main reason why I don't necessarily like it on the G7 is because you don't get those manual controls and that's something I really do enjoy that's something I use quite a bit especially with my V20 since that's what I'm recording with and that's what I tend to record with so yeah um other than that though I think it's a very clean app all you really got to do is look up google hdr plus click the xda website and it'll just scroll down where it says download this and it'll bring it to you bring it up for you and that's just something that i indeed think is nice it is a nice alternative i guess but for me personally i just don't necessarily care for it i don't care for hdr i never really did so <laughs> Even though I do tend to just keep it on on all of my phones, it's just something that I don't necessarily see a quality like a gra a, like a heightened, like a super heightened, <laughs> like noticeable increase in quality. There we go. Sorry, I'm a bit tired, but <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this. Though, go down in the comment section below and let me know. Um, which of these phones do you have? G7, Note 8, are you excited for the Note 9 and LG V40? Let me know in the comments section below. Um, this is part of the thing, guys, watching. Thanks for the support. Um, I don't know why I keep saying, um, but you know, uh, and I did it again. Like this video if you like this. Like it, just like it, share it with people that are interested in this kind of thing. I did a similar thing with the Note 5 where I installed the Pixel Launcher on there and it worked just fine. I'm not necessarily into that kind of thing. I'm not into Root anymore, but one day, maybe when I pay one of these phones off, most likely the Note, I might Root it, who knows, and I might install custom ROMs on it, even though it's a pain in the ass to <laughs> to Root a Samsung phone But you nowadays, but you know. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit this notification bell icon, know when I upload my next video, comment in the comment section down below, let me know what you guys think of this. Would you like to see more content like this, me just going over other apps, aside from what's on the phone? Um, let me know. Again, this is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the support. Hope you guys have a wonderful Monday, whatever time of day it is in the area. Have a good one.